Hello and welcome from Budapest. This is Hungary Reports from Public Media M1 with the latest news from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin in English. I'm Arpad Sötzi. Thanks for joining us. Hungary and Vietnam have signed a cooperation agreement. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban received the Speaker of the Vietnamese National Assembly at his office in Budapest. Taking part in negotiations were also Hungarian Minister of Justice Judith Varga, Foreign Affairs and Trade Minister Peter Siarto, and Minister of Culture and Innovation Janos Csák. The two sides agreed to work closer together in the fields of military security, weapons manufacture, tourism, agriculture, and pharmaceutical production. And Hungary's Minister of Defense claims that cooperation between his country and Germany is outstanding when it comes to weapons manufacturing and military exercises. Krzysztof Salai Bobrovnitsky made his comments after negotiating with his German counterpart in Berlin. He said that both countries want peace and want to stay out of the war in Ukraine. According to Salai Bobrovnitsky, the two sides agreed that NATO's 10-year strategy to be adopted at next week's summit in Madrid must also include how to combat illegal migration. The Hungarian government expects that every large company has to pay the extra profit or windfall tax and that they not pass on those costs to consumers. Furthermore, Hungarian families shouldn't have to pay for the price of war. That's what government spokesperson Alexandra Senkirai said in a video. She cited budget airline Ryanair, saying that it is unacceptable that the company is trying to pass on those costs to its passengers. The Minister for Consumer Protection has now launched an extraordinary investigation into Ryanair's practices. Ryanair denies the charges. Budapest police headquarters, along with some experts, are investigating the collapse of a facade wall and parts of the roof of an apartment building on Monday that came crashing down onto the street. Remarkably, no one was killed, but one person was seriously injured and parked cars were demolished. Residents of this building in the 6th district of Budapest have been evacuated and have been put up in hotels for the time being. And the Flower Carnival of Debrecen in eastern Hungary will start on August 15th and will start with a parade featuring 12 floats covered by a half million flowers and 1,600 participants. The carnival had been cancelled the past two years because of the pandemic, but it's back now and couldn't be smelling any sweeter. And before we go, the Hungarian women's water polo team is through to the semifinals at the World Aquatic Championships in Budapest after defeating Australia 7-6. Congratulations. And that's all for now, but please don't forget, you can watch Hungary Reports every night live at around 11.15 p.m. Central European time. You can also view us in repeats and online. Thanks very much for watching, and Viszon Látásra.